So today I want to talk about the second print in this um, series of Mokuhanga prints that I've been talking about here. This one's titled His Legacy. And this print explores almost directly the ideas that I had mentioned previously in my talk about the print, I Promise, where I had noticed a, a raccoon who had climbed up in one of my trees, and uh, it was at dusk, and the moon was beginning to rise underneath of the raccoon, and it was a very vivid and striking image. And I wanted to capture it immediately, and it really what prompted my whole thinking about the moon and our relationship to it. Um, I had done a very little sketch of of that as well, just to kind of get some ideas. And this print kind of um, was uh, was building on those ideas. Not not exactly because I didn't want to illustrate exactly what I had seen. I wanted to create um, a dynamic space um, and a character. And in thinking about this print. Um, I um, I had this idea that this little animal was without a tail and that it desperately wanted a tail and seeing the moon in its form as if a tail, a bright and shining tail climbing into the sky, I just had this image of this small creature climbing up somewhere so that when the moon rose high enough, it would reach um, where the tail should be. Uh, For whatever reason, I I liked this idea. I fell in love with this idea. Um, And so I created this image where I have this this little marmot climbing up, trying to reach the point at which this moon would rise to meet him. And there are there are lots of things going on in this print. There's lots of animals looking up and watching to see what is going to happen. And I just I just really loved the print. When it came to time to write the text for it, um, I I had some difficulty figuring out what the text should be. And it, the the idea of it, while I like it, was kind of, um, you know, everybody has goals that they want to achieve, and they go after those goals, and some people succeed, and, and some people don't. And that's, that's the way of life. And here, this is a goal in this image that hasn't yet succeeded, or hasn't yet come to pass. And we don't know what's going to happen. You know, everybody is watching in the image. Everyone is watching. And I wanted to kind of talk a little bit about um, what happens in that kind of a situation. And and I didn't really know. I, as far as a storyteller is concerned, I didn't want to say this is what happened, the end. I wanted to leave that for whoever came to the image, whoever came to this print or wanted to live with it. Um, That's the way I feel about a lot of my work. People come to the image and they they all feel a certain way about it. Um, And in this instance, I didn't want to give anything away. As a matter of fact, I still don't know what happens. And it's in the not knowing, it's in the potential of what can happen that I find real inspiration in this print. And that, I think, were, was where the text came to me. Um, and the text reads, his legacy wasn't to be his grand accomplishments, rather the example he set. And I definitely feel like that's what I want to do. I know that I'm not going to succeed at everything that I do, and 
when I think about what I want to be remembered for, it's, it's more about the person that I am than everything that I have accomplished during my time. And I think that, um, I think that's important. But as in this print, it's, it's still good to have quality goals. And I think this little guy has quite the goal. Um, 